Well, hello, how are we doing? Happy Sunday, fun day. I uh, hope things are going well for you. So uh, yesterday I went to see uh, the new Beetlejuice, uh, Beetle, AKA Beetlejuice 2. Uh, really good. Uh, Jenna Ortega was a seamless fit. So much so that I went to go back to the first one and look for her. Of course, it was way before her time. So excellent cast in there. I never had any doubt, mind. I really enjoyed Wednesday. So yes, the film I thought was, in, I enjoyed it so much that when I walked out the cinema, I was thinking if they made a three or four, if they announced they were making three and four, it, it wouldn't bother me at all. I'd be like, oh, brilliant, I'll, I'll go and see them. I really enjoyed it. I think it was a, a good example of a good sequel. So uh, rush out there, folks, go and see it. It's really good. If I had one nagging point, it would simply be um, seeing Michael and Tim work together again really, 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 um, off again, really, really whetted my appetite uh, for another Batman. Keaton as Batman with Tim at the helm. <gasps> really, really want to see that. So if you're out there, guys, and listening, uh, that's a please request from me, and hopefully my followers will jump on board with that and give it their support. So anyway, uh, let's get to a writing tip. So today is called Going With Your Gut. Now, I may have spoke about something similar, similar to this in past videos, but today is a very, very recent example that happened just the other day. I'm working on Hella High Water, the um, novella, the reader magnet novella for my Mike Staughton thriller series. And it's set in with the Pirates of Somalia, so he's going out to the Gulf of Aden, and I had a logistical problem of how does he get there. So I initially was looking at the map, so I chose Saudi Arabia, and I thought, okay, perhaps he can land and an official can perhaps meet him, and then the Saudi Navy takes him out to uh, a ship. And, uh, and I was thinking, like, Saudi Arabia, and I was just like, this is wrong. Why is this wrong? And my gut was telling me, you know, this is not right. And so I started to think about it and try and unpack why that was. And it was because there was too many questions. You know, Saudi Arabia, immediately I just wanted to, you know, submerge myself in Saudi Arabia, look at the country and the way things work and, you know, what can happen. And, and that's a novel. I'm like, that's a big thing. I'm just trying to get to a ship. And then the second thing I realized was that he's civilian. Um, so would a civilian land and then get escorted out to sea by the Saudi Navy? Probably not, I mean, it's, you know, a bit silly, isn't it? So it's just like, ah, oh, right. So I looked and then looked at, at, at Egypt and I was like, you idiot. I mean, Sharm El Sheikh is right, he's actually on the Red Sea to the Aden Sea, exactly where he needs to go, through the Suez Canal. Tourists go there all the time, you know. He's, like I say, he's undercover. Perfect fit. But actually, that then started to open the right doors for me. Because I was thinking, so this is in his early days, so without giving too much away, you know, what are the, the, the logistics there? What are people, um, you know, what's Stoughton expecting himself of this journey? How's this going to work? So, as I was writing that, I was just thinking, okay, yeah, so that happens, that happens. And it was just really natural. He was not knowing what to expect. And it just all fed in. And that worked because I followed my gut. So listen to your gut, folks. If you're writing it's not, yeah, think things through, stand back, perhaps look at another option of what's right. I mean, it's great news for Saudi Arabia because now I've got a novel. I don't know what the story is. But I know I'm going to set another there at some point. So happy days. Anyway, folks, have, I just heard a bang in the kitchen. Sorry, and I think it might be my food in the oven. So anyway, right, folks, I hope you're having a wonderful Sunday and we shall speak again soon. Cheers. Bye bye.